Hi, okay, this is a, just a quick video on a specific post here on Spice Up Your Blog, which is a, a featured slider that I, I released in April this year. Um, and a lot of people have been having an issue with the slider showing up on all pages of their blog. Um, what this is, is basically if, if you add a, an image slider to your blog, usually you'll want it only to be shown on the home page um, and not on the, on the post pages. Um, now, I did add a bit of code uh, in the original HTML. To, to basically make the slider only display on the home page but with the, some of the new template designs it isn't working on all on all sites on all, all of your blogs so if you're having the problem we're going to try and help you and fix it in this video okay so if I scroll down to the code the HTML code for it which is the third section of code for this slider um, you will see here that I have the, the conditional tag that basically says to uh, only display the template on the, or sorry, to only display the the slider on the home page, um, and this is basically the code that's that's not working on some of the some of the templates that you're using. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this code directly to your your actual template into your actual template code, and it's it's not as hard as it may sound, and I'll walk you through it in this video. So we released a post uh, quite some time ago, uh, it's actually in 2000, 2010, and um, that that basically shows you how to display gadgets on the home page and post page only. And the first part we have here is displaying on the home page, and with this one, um, what I'm actually doing is going into the template and adding adding this piece of code and this is the way we're going to have to do it for it to work on some of it some of your sites okay so let's let's go and do so first thing i want to do is get to the demo of the slider and i got a lot of comments with people having trouble with this and I, I actually thought maybe they were making a mistake or something but then it became so many comments that i actually looked into it on a couple of templates and i noticed with this which is more um, modern template i have actually added code the conditional code here and still when I click into a post which I'll do the slider is still visible okay so how do we fix this let's get through it okay so the first thing I want to do is go to the design page and I'm going to do something um, that basically helps us find uh, onto the layout page so this is basically the design page template page and here on the left hand side we click layout so we're going to do something to make this gadget easier to find because within your template you have a lot of may have a lot of HTML JavaScript gadgets, so they'd be quite hard to locate. And all I'm going to do is for the title, I'm just going to quickly add the title, and you can remove it again. But just for the title, I'm going to add something that's going to be easy to find. So let's just put in a load of peas, like so. And this is basically just to make the gadget easier to find inside your template and speed up the process. Okay, so I'm just going to add a load of peas there. I'm going to save it. And it'll only be visible on your blog for a couple of minutes. And once we have that done, I'm going to go to template and edit HTML. And once we go to edit HTML, we will then try and find that gadget by using all the, the P's of the search mechanism. Okay, so let's click control, click and hold control and press F. We'll get our search bar up. And we can just start typing five or six P's in and click search and as you can see it will jump straight to the gadget so that all that was was just to make the gadget much easier to find within the template rather than looking for html4 as the id is okay so once we get to this we'll see here the widget id html4 and then our title and beside that you'll see an arrow that's to open up the widget code which you need to do so i'm going to click on that arrow and your b widget will come up and you're going to click on the arrow again and this is the code here which makes up the gadget Okay, I should have said before this, make sure and back up your template in case you do make a mistake, but you should, maybe you shouldn't make a mistake, it's, it is quite straightforward. Okay, so let's look back at our post, our original post here to display gadgets on the home page and post pages. And I showed that basically the two sections of code that you add will be within the, the be includable ID equals main and before the closing the be includable tag. Okay, so we're going to look for that. First of all, we're going to copy the code, the red piece of code here. This, I will link to this page below both the YouTube video and video on the post on the blog. Okay, so let's copy this. We're going to go back to our test blog code here. And as we said, in this, after you have your B includable ID equals main, you add that piece of code. So below your title here, which is PPP, you have be includable id equals main. So below that, we're going to paste our first piece of code. And we then need to close this. So here I show that it's just before you have the closing 
B includable tag. So let's copy the closing tag here and just look for the closing B includable here. And we can make a bit of space and paste that in. So really what I've done is exactly what's shown on this post here, which I will have linked. I'm going to have to update the post because it does have images showing the older logger dashboard, but you should be able to follow it. Okay, so once we've that done, we can save the template. And I haven't tested this, so I really do hope it works. Um, so let's view the blog. And we have our slider on the home page, and hopefully when I click into the post page, it will not be visible. And it's not. That's one of the first times I didn't test something before I did it. I was kind of really hoping it didn't show up there. I wouldn't have to make the video again. Okay, so there you can see how it's done. We've actually gone into the template and overridden the 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 um, what we have done within the uh, HTML JavaScript gadget, and as you can see, that's not visible. So as I said, this post here with the with the instructions will be linked to, and you can follow this video just to see exactly how it's done. And there was a lot of comments with people having trouble with this, so I hope this helps you and gets your issue fixed. Thanks for watching the video.